Well, I don't think Stephen uh, makes uh, films that are polemic, but I, I, I do think that he, you know, Schindler's List and a number of films have looked at issues that he's, he's very socially involved and very conscious and calls presidents and prime ministers and people, talks to people uh, at very high levels of um, politics when he's concerned about issues. And, and I think he, his, his heart and mind are very, in what I would feel is a very just and human place. Um, obviously for me, because I've been involved with the um, campaign to get Shaka Armour home, um, you know, John McDonald and Jeremy Corbyn and all these people have been involved in that work. And thank God he's home now, the poor man, um, after 5,000 days in, in prison. So, so um, the the issue of people being on uh, people not being given the same justice because they are perceived to be an enemy, as we would give our citizens, uh, which is basically what the film one of the things the film is about. Yes, that issue has been very topical in relation to Guantanamo Bay. But I never heard Stephen mention Guantanamo or anything like that. It just, he he just was interested in. I think he was particularly interested in the. Um, in the the fact that a, uh, an, an insurance uh, lawyer, <laughs> not an area of society, with no disrespect for them, but not an area of society that generally we think of as being ethical. If if you have to deal with those people, they're tending to rip you off if you've broken your leg or burnt your house down, trying to get pay you as little money as they can. But that that a man in that part of society ha has this incredible heroic goodness and strength to to. Um, to treat his enemy as, uh, to love his enemy as he'd love his friend, and follow the rules, to, despite all the trouble and the risk it's going to bring him. I think that's what interested Stephen.